So this part of your asset and basis, we are going to look at the strength of the asset. Okay, so assets, we have strong asset. By definition, strong asset dissociate completely in water to give high concentration of H+. So complete dissociation, usually we will put it in this arrow. Okay, reaction goes to completion. So if I have 10 molecules of HCl, all will separate into H plus Cl minus, H plus Cl minus. This is strong acid because all dissociate, complete dissociation. Strong acids have high pH, sorry, have low pH. pH is 1, 2, 3. Okay, weak acid. Weak acid dissociates partially in water to give a low concentration of H plus ions. Okay, so partially, usually the equation, we use a reversible arrow. And weak acids have pH of 4, 5, 6. Acids pH less than 7. So picture-wise, you can see your ethanoic acid. This is still a molecule, everything sticking together. Everything sticking together. But some of it, it will separate into H+, CH3COO-. Okay, so this is partial dissociation. And this is a picture of your weak acid. Okay, strength of alkali, same idea. Acids, complete dissociation for strong acid. Strong alkali, complete dissociation, high concentration of hydroxide ions. So, your sodium hydroxide, potassium hydroxide, these are all strong alkali, pH 12 to 14. Weak alkali undergoes partial dissociation, small concentration of hydrogen ions, hydroxide ions. So same thing, if I put 10 molecules in, only a few will dissociate. Not all 10 will dissociate into the OH- ions. Okay, within our syllabus, please note, aqueous ammonia. Aqueous ammonia, this is my weak alkali. So where is the OH-? You know ammonia is NH3. Okay, this is the equation that tells us. Ammonia is NH3. Dissociate in water means I put it inside water. When you see ammonia, think of ammonia, right? So water in a chemical reaction will be H plus, OH minus. Okay, so ammonia, think ammonium, the H come to here, the NH4 plus will partner the whatever is left behind, OH minus. So partial dissociation, use your reversible arrow, you have C some hydroxide ions. And this is your weak alkali, pH is 8 to 11. Okay, next idea, we have basicity. Number of hydrogen ions that can be replaced by metal in one molecule of acid. So remember, when you write chemical equation, for example, uh, sodium plus, Na plus HCl, right? Always take the metal, keep the H+. Plus. So, how many H plus can be kicked out? In this case, only one. You get NaCl plus H2. Right, so this HCl, we call it monobasic acid because only one H plus is being kicked out. Okay, and in the same example, I have sodium plus your sulfuric acid. Sodium, keep the sulfate, uh, sorry, sodium, keep the hydrogen, you get sodium sulfate. How many H plus kicked out? Two of it. Okay, so two hydrogen ions is being kicked out, so we call it dibasic. <laughs> this is your formula. Two hydrogen ions are being kicked out. So basicity will apply the same for alkali. We can have mono basic alkali, NaOH, KOH, one OH only. We can also have mono basic, uh, sorry, di basic alkali. For example, your calcium hydroxide. Right, there is two OH that's been kicked out. Okay, last but not least, we are looking at the concentration of an acid. So concentration refers to the amount of acid per unit volume. 
strength of an acid, the strength is not the same as concentration. Weak acid is not a dilute acid. Strong acid is not concentrated. Okay, so what does this mean? I can have 10 grams of HCl. HCl, you have to know, is complete dissociation, strong acid. So this is concentrated strong acid. And I can have 1 gram of HCl. 1 gram is much less than 10 grams. It is diluted, but HCl is still HCl, pH 1, 2, 3. It is a strong acid. I can also have 10 grams ethanol weak acid. Ethanol weak acid is my weak acid. This is your concentrated weak acid. 1 gram ethanol weak acid. This is your diluted weak acid. pH 4, 5, 6 in both cases. So what does this mean in terms of reactions? Yeah? Strength of acid affects the speed of reaction. So if I have an example of 10 grams HCl versus 10 grams CH3COH, so both are concentrated, but the difference is my HCl is a strong acid. This is strong. CH3COH, this is weak. So when reactions start, HCl reaction will be faster. But the amount of product form is the same. Okay, so this one will give me, say for example, 10 cn cube of hydrogen gas. This will also give me 10 cn cube, but slower. Okay, at the end of it, stronger acid means faster reaction. Concentration affects the amount of products form. Okay, so example, I have 10 grams of HCl, 1 gram of HCl. So now both are strong acids, same acid, and the concentration is different. One is 10 and one is 1. So which one will be faster? 10 grams will give faster reaction and it will also give me more products. So example, this one will give me 10 cn cube. One minute. So this one will give me one cm cube. Maybe two minutes. Okay. So strength of your acid affects the rate. The stronger the acid, the faster the reaction. Same amount of products are formed. Concentration affects amount of products. Thai basic acid forms double the amount and it will be at a faster rate.